Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Master Yurimakun. What happened last time? We're getting signature. We went to every different teacher. We got most of your stamps, but the one person that we still need is Kalego. And this is pretty much make or break, right? If he doesn't give it, then it seems to be GG. I'm not sure if actually we need majority vote, but it'd be nice to get Kalego's stamp. Like, I'm sure he's going to give it. I, he's just being a Cinderella, right? He's just being a Cinderella and it makes for good content. The best thing so far about the previous episodes, other than evil Iruma, you know, Irumin just popping off. We get to see the rest of our class. Like, the misfits are finally being put into the spotlight. We get to know more about them. All, Not all of them. I think we got most of their family bloodline abilities. I'm not sure if we got all of them, but they all, they're all they all great. And I'm sure they're going to one day be really important friends or allies for Iruma. So they got to also rise with the ranks, right? It can't be just Iruma just hogging the spotlight. I feel like everybody has to come together and, and we're going to be a fucking squad. That's what I have a feeling. Let's begin the episode. Eiko! Eiko! Eiko, no! We're always getting drowned out. Oh. Another meeting with Kalego? Ooh, round two. Here we go. But this time, Eggy Sensei, we got most of the signatures. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Except me. Kalego, come on, just let them. All they want to do is learn in a better learning environment. Wait, but no, but he said he, he said he would die with it though. He said he wouldn't. It's too soon. It's too soon. No, 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 not yet. Not yet. Yeah, there we go. Why? Why? All of them. All of them. You're the, yeah, it's not fair. You're being so unreasonable. Come on. But not mine. So it doesn't count. <laughs> Technically, he's correct. But do you have to be like this, man? That's so... That's so childish! Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait! Oh, not just actual teachers. Like, every Babylon's employee. I thought he was like, I thought he was talking about, like, himself. Really? That's, that's a technicality. I mean, I guess you're right, but the, that's just an argument of semantics you pull at the last fucking day. Like, bro, come on. The janitors again. What happened to the seedlings? Did something sprout? Robin and everybody else is like, oh. oh, yeah, thank you. But we need a lot more than just from you, but still, thank you. Unless everybody walks in one by one right now. What? Oh, I, I got the whole school here behind me. Oh, come on. No, wait, 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 wait. Because Iruma has helped them before? They all... Even the end, even the shopkeeper with the bamboo stick. Ho yeah? Isn't... This is a nice, wholesome outcome. <laughs> All these things that we missed. I'm sorry, I've never seen you before, but I'm so glad that you guys are helping. <laughs> oh, Iruma's like, even my bad boy cool attitude right now might just get swayed by this. Oh, Kaligo, what can you say about this? Thank you, thank you, thank you. But now, Kaligo, what are you going to say? Is he still going to be like, Skuni? <laughs> I still haven't signed it. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, like everybody but you right now. Come on. You have to realize you're in the wrong, right, Kaligo? Damn, the misfits in the royal one. Let's go. Come on. Kaligo, come on. Kaligo, stop being so gatekeepy. No. No. <laughs> Maybe he will. Is the peer pressure enough? Fine. Oh, oh, oh. Really? Oh, he had to stop himself at the peer pressure. Come on, just give it. I swear to God, just summon him as Eggy Sensei. Thank you, Kaligo. Thank you. All right, we're in. Royal one, let's go. But I really wonder what he meant about the dangers of the royal one. The flames of the previous whatever generation that built up that place and why it's been locked away why is it so seemingly dangerous 
Yeah, I mean, that's the kind of character that you're made to be. Like, super tight, uptight, like, strict, kind of tsundere, but eventually will get to you. The King's Classroom. Oh, here we go. So, one, two, three, four different locks on it? Jeez, it's so... Wait, another festival? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Magi Apparatus Festival again. Wow, everybody's gathered just for us to enter. Yeah, he's gonna eat it all once. What? Easy, easy. It doesn't matter how much more time's done. Done. <laughs> Look at his jacket right now. It was great. That's all you need. Oh, it was great! Scoy! He is pretty cool. I just wish... I hope that this last for a long time okay look at the way he's wearing his jacket right now he doesn't put his arm through the sleeves this is like the coolest way to wear those like jackets like that uh i think the first time i saw it was like in one piece all the admirals the jack in the navy they all wear like capes the jacket looks like capes doesn't it look sick right i love it like not only was the button just like being um undone and the collar up cool enough you have to wear like this too i'm a fan i'm a big fan sometimes i do that too i probably don't look as cool though Oh, Sabro and that teacher that he fucked up are getting on good terms. The pink maestro and the, the sage of academia. <laughs> Yo, they're all kind of... All the instructors that they got the stems from. They're still kind of bonding. Maybe we'll gain their favors in the future. Damn, I mean, this is a legendary moment. Kaligo... <laughs> All right, Shh. let's see what he does. Oh. Such dignified manner. Damn, everybody's watching. Is the entire school watching? It was created for a single student, the previous demon king. Abilities were unparalleled, never like him. Okay, they're hyping up the missing demon king. He. Okay, Dercula. Dercula. Dercula, I don't know. Dedicula. One person? They made this for one person? How special was he? Two. Three. Well, there should be five, four keys. God damn. The royal one shall be opened. This is pretty epic. All they're doing is opening up a door, but the context behind it, right? Damn. And now it's for the next generation. Iruma. Irumin has advanced the plot so fast in the previous episode. It's bad. We're just advancing through the story. Wow. It's been... They've been keeping a pretty... They kept that in pretty good condition, don't you? It's all shiny and clown. Well, there's like a spider web design. I guess it might be just behind the window. Right the school. Like everybody just runs it. Shut up, Kaliga. Enough for tradition. We're in. Yay, let's party. Damn, everything is so sparkly. Yo, has someone been going in here just like secretly and just like cleaning it up all this time? This is not the state of like a locked away ancient, I don't know, room. Don't steal it, Jazz. The royal one that was designed for the Demon King. Oh, the main guy is walking. Is there a throne? Oh, I I, it'd be cool if there was like a throne and he sat on it or something. Welcome to the royal one. Where are you walking? A blackboard. Okay. Dirk is cast a spell to ah that's convenient. <laughs> Just gets. I mean, you should do that for the entire school then. Like, <laughs> gets rid of the op operating fees for cleaning. But throne? There's a throne. There's a chair. Is that for the demon king? What does this chair throne room represent? Kind of reminds me of like the Iron Throne from Game of Thrones. Is it the Demon King's chair? Is this what we see in every intro scene that I kind of skip over? Or what they do? The throne is empty. Oh! 
no one could move a muscle. They were just witnessing the future Demon King assume his position. Damn, he looks so good! Dude! This is what a Demon King should look like! What is it as as? What does he look like? This is the intro scene for like season one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His pollen got even more pointy, man. And longer. Say <laughs> I'll say it. Demon King. You know, the button jacket down, just like legs crossed. Shkuni. Come on, get in the picture with us, Kaligo. No. Oh. Come on, Kaligo. It's one for the memories. That sh throne chair is so big, though. But still, everybody props Edema right there. That is... That... That pose of him sitting on the chair is just... It's just like Edema. And that's the episode and the end of the evil cycle Edema arc. Damn. I heard it's called a wicked cycle also, but... Edumin, evil cycle, Edema, evil Edema, Edumin. Eh, it's all the same shit. When is it gonna come back? Not for a long time. Maybe not even in season three. Who knows? Actually, maybe later in season two. I don't know. But I love this has been probably one of my favorite arcs so far. And I hear it's going to just keep getting better and better. We've progressed so much through the plot. And we actually got to know about the Demon King. The fact that the royal one was designed just for Dracula. Like, that's crazy. Just for one demon, they designed this entire room. Why did he go missing? Who knows? That's 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 like endgame plot territory, right? We need the evil cycle to move back to get that shit handed, but we'll just enjoy the pace for what it is. Hey, if you stick around this long, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube algorithm push up my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of our favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.